Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this super cute spider that I designed. Um, and we're just going to get right into the tutorial and what you're going to need for this. So, you're going to need some bands. I'm using these two colors today. This, if you want to use the same color bands that I'm using, it is from this Rainbow Loom Pastel Treasure Box. And you're also going to need a hook. I'm just using my Rainbow Loom hook here. A stitch marker or a C-clip. You're going to need your polyfill or something to stuff your spider with. And I'm using safety eyes. For the eyes of my spider, you can use whatever beads you have. These are just what I use. And let's get right into the tutorial. Also, I do not have the band count right now, but it will be in the description. And to start off this pattern, we're going to be starting off with the body. We're going to be starting here. And I'm going to be doing this sort of spiral color design on the body of my spider. If you don't want to do the spiral, you just do one color throughout the entire thing. But since I'm going to be switching colors, um, I'm going to go back and forth. So, we're going to start off this pattern with a magic ring of six. So, we are going to make a triple cap band. By doing that, we're going to twist our band, put it on our hook like that, and then do that again to create a triple cap band, just like that. And then we're going to be making six stitches in this cap band. So we're going to pull this band through this one, through the cap band, just like that. And then we're going to be putting this front loop here through the back one, like that. Now we're going to go back into this triple cap band, just like that. And we're going to bring this band through the triple cap band. We're going to reclaim, which means you're just putting this loop back on your hook, like that. And then we're going to push this, or pull, I guess, this front loop through everything that's on our hook, just like that. And then we're going to go back into the triple cap band, which is right here. And we're gonna do that four more times. And this is going to create a magic ring of six. And usually when you change colors like this, you would do a color change, but we're not gonna be doing that because it's just, it's not really necessary. Like that. This is our last one. So again, we're going to bring this band, sorry, through the cap band, reclaim, and pull, pull this front loop through everything, just like that. And now we have our magic ring of six, and we're going to be placing our stitch marker onto the band that is on our hook. Just like that, and we'll start row two, which is going to be an increase all the way around. So, for an increase, we're going to go in our first stitch, which is right here. Um, if you don't know what a stitch looks like, you can kind of tell here. There are these little loops that you have. Um, and in case you don't know how to count your stitches, this right here is one, this is two, three, four, five, and six. So, we're going to do increases all the way around. So, we're going to go into this first stitch here. Also, there's glitter literally everywhere. I don't know where this glitter is coming from. <laughs> I didn't have anything that had glitter on it, but anyway, we're going to make an increase. So, we're going to bring this band through our first stitch here. We're going to reclaim and bring it through everything on our hook. And then instead of going into this next stitch, which is this purple one, 
we're going to go back into that same stitch and make another stitch just like that and that will create an increase you can kind of see if you pull your bands apart a little bit more glitter <laughs> you can kind of see that there is one and then two stitches in there so now we're going to go into the second stitch which is this purple one and we're going to make an increase and i probably should have said um to do the switching colors every single time you go into a stitch whatever color it is that's the oh, that's the color band that you put into it so like i'm doing i'm going into a purple so i'm stitching purple when i go into pink i stitch pink so that's how you create that spiral pattern then we're going to go in here and do another increase reclaim bring it through Again, bring it through the stitch, reclaim, front through everything, and I'm going to continue that all the way around, and this will leave us with 12 stitches, because, you know, we're just kind of multiplying is what an increase is, basically, or doubling, I mean. Go in here another increase done and then in this purple and increase just like that and then we're going to move up our stitch marker onto the band that's on our hook and we're going to start row three this row is going to be single crochet increase and we are going to end on 18 stitches so for a single crochet, it's very, very simple. You just go into your first stitch here, just like that, and make just one stitch in there, like so. And that is a single crochet. And then we're going to go into here and do an increase. And just like we did last row, we're going to bring that band through, reclaim, front through everything, go in there again just like that and that is single crochet increase I'm gonna go into this next stitch single crochet then increase on the next one just like that then single crochet here And increase in the next one single and increase and we're on our last two little um, sequences here so we're going to do a single and an increase single and our last stitch is an increase just like that and you can already kind of see a spiral forming which is very cool. So we're gonna move our stitch marker up. You can count your stitches if you like. Um, so again, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And then we're gonna move on to row four. For this row, it's going to be a single crochet, single crochet, increase. And we're going to end up with 24 stitches. So I'm going to go into here, our very first stitch. This will be single crochet. So we're going to bring this band through our first stitch, reclaim, front through everything, just like that. Then another single. <clears throat> and an increase. 
And I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. Single. Single. And start increase here. I like putting my bands on my finger because then I can kind of count where I'm supposed to be. It makes it a lot easier so I can kind of see where I am. So this is single, single, and our last two pink bands are increase. Well, whatever bands you're using, that is. Um, if this happens, just grab that band here, try to grab it, and then just pull this band back through, just like that. That happens to me quite often, I will say. I'm going to do single, single, and increase. And then I'm just going to move these bands up on my finger. And single, single. See, it happened again. I have a really bad habit of doing this when I'm recording and never at any other time, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. And then our last stitch here, I'm going to be doing an increase. So, one and two, just like that. And you can see spiral a lot better. And now we're gonna do row five. Move up our stitch marker. Again, you can count these bands if you like. I'm not going to. Um, so, row five, singles all the way around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my bands up here because I'm not gonna be able to fit all the bands that I need on my finger. I don't wanna have to go out of frame to do that, so. Or pause, I mean, to keep doing that. So, this is gonna be single all the way around. So, single, 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 all the way until we get to the very end. And it's going to be like this for row 5 through 10. So after I'm done with this fifth row that I'm doing currently, I am going to go off camera to do the other rows all the way through row 10. And then I will be back to do row 11 with you. The only reason for that is because I really don't think that you would want to sit here and watch me do how, ro how many rows is it? It's six rows. Yeah, of, of singles. Um, if you need to, you can just go back and watch this row that I'm doing currently as a guide to do the other five, but um, I'm going to go off camera and do the other ones. I don't know if you can hear that bird outside, but it is very, very loud. <laughs> and my recording setup I hope it's okay I hope the lighting's okay I try to zoom in as much as possible so that you can see what I'm doing well enough and I try to make it as clear as I can I try to use the natural light as best as I can, but the way, but where my desk is and where my windows are, it 
kind of doesn't provide the most natural light over here. I should probably move my desk, honestly, if I want to do that more up against the windows, but uh, I don't know if I really want to rearrange my whole room like that, you know? But anyway, last two stitches here on this row. The single, if I can grab a band, goodness. Grab a band here, and this last stitch is a single. I'm going to bring that through, just like that. And that is row 5. And again, do this all the way through row 10. Row 10 is going to be the last row of single crochet for a little while before I come back anyway. And then I'll be back to do row 11 with you guys. I have now done all of my rows, as you can see, and your the body of your spider should be looking like this. And now we're going to start on row 11. It's going to be two single crochets and a decrease, and we're going to end on 18 stitches. So let me go in here. This is single, single, and a decrease is where we take this front band here, just like this, and the back one of the next stitch, like that. I'll show you that one more time. So, these two stitches here, we're going to go into this front loop only, and then the back loop of the next one. And that is where we are going to make our stitch. So we're going to go in here, and stitch just like that. And then we're going to continue that all the way around. Single, single, and decrease. Bands up a bit, single, single, and decrease. If I'm going too fast, you can always slow down the video. Um, I hope this is easy to follow. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to get as close to the camera as possible so you can kind of make out what I'm doing. I think I already said, but this is going to end up being 18 stitches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already did. Single, single, decrease. Oops. Probably fell everywhere, my goodness. And this is our last sequence here. And the front loop. And back loop just like that and decrease and that was row 11 now we're going to move on to row 12 which is going to be one single crochet and one decrease so single and decrease you could probably tell but in between every row, I pause, make a cut in the video, and then pick up more bands. Um, that's <laughs> um, how the bands just appear on my finger. I'm just in case you're wondering. Um, so I basically make this entire video in two to three minute, sometimes four minute increments. And okay. We're getting here, my band is twisted, as you can see. If it is, just try your best to grab that back band there. Um, that can happen sometimes, but no big deal. It can be fixed very easily. Um, I think I said, but it is gonna be end up or end up being 12 stitches. I won't accidentally grab that whole stitch. Just the back one only. Single and decrease. I try to make sure you can see exactly what I'm doing because I remember when I first started making rainbow loom um, creations, I had a hard time following what they were doing because I couldn't really see very well. So 
trying to make sure everything's very clear. And then front and back, just kind of move your stitch marker out of the way. And we're getting closer to the end here. We've got two more rows to do of the body and then, oops, then we're going to start on the head of our spider. Now into row 13, it's just going to be single crochets all the way around. So, single, single, and it's still going to end up being 12 stitches by the end because we're not decreasing or increasing anything, just adding on to the stitches that are already there. So, still 12. All the way. To the very end. Oop. Hook got stuck there for a second. And that was row 13, all done. If I can get the stitch marker up and move it up. And start on the next row. Row 14 is the one that we're on now after doing that row of single crochet. We're going to do decreases all the way around. So I'll show you what decrease is just one more time. This first stitch, we're going to go in the front loop and then the back loop of the second stitch, just like that. I'm going to do these all the way around. We should end up with six stitches. And decrease. Decrease. And once you get towards the center here where the area that you're working in is kind of small, it does get kind of annoying to grab these bands from underneath here. So you can just sort of spread it out like that. Grab those bands. And then this is our last decrease here. And just like that. And now we're going to stuff this. We're gonna, well first we're gonna move up our stitch marker. And we are going to stuff this. So I'm going to take some of this polyfill here. And I'm going, I like to roll it around in my hands like that in order to make it more compact and it just makes it more, you know, solid, not as fluffy. So we're just going to stretch it out a bit here and then put that in there. I'm going to need some more. So I'm going to tear some of that off and roll it around in my hands again. And then... Do that again. Just like that. And I feel like I could use a little bit more. So I'm gonna put some more in there. Just a little bit. Just to make sure it is looking the way that I want it to look. So now we've got the body, you can see here, this is what our body is looking like. Um, now we're going to start on the head of our spider, which is that's what our next row is going to be. So this is going to be row 15. And we're going to do increases all the way around, so we're going to go in here and increase. And this will create the little, um, I guess, segment, or uh, it'll attach the head to the body without having to do any sort of stitching or 
any sort of attaching that we, ha that we would have to do if we had done the head and the body separately. And I find it looks a lot better this way as well. So, that's why I'm doing it this way. And I keep pulling out the band off my hook. Um, this is going to end us, uh, this is going to end up being 12 stitches, so you can count afterwards if you would like. Oh my. Okay, could go back in there. This is our last two here. There we go. And that is it's kind of like the neck, basically. Um, what did I do here? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now moving on to what row is the next one gonna be? Row sixteen. And for row sixteen, it's going to be single crochet increase, ending us on eighteen stitches. So I'm gonna go in here and make our single crochet and this is going to be an increase single and increase and you probably already noticed obviously I'm making my head pink um, you can make yours whichever color you like this is just the one that I'm choosing to do um, that was increase, singles, can we increase here? Single, increase, single, increase. Single and this last one is an increase. There we go. Well, I actually went through the C clip. Okay. Just like that. And next row is row 17. And this row is just going to be singles all the way around. And this row, as well as rows 18 through 22, they're all single crochets. So, including this row, that's seven rows. And after this one, I will leave you to do that. Um, I find what helps counting your rows is if you count out bands. So, I'll do that really quickly. That's four, five, and six, so that's for my next six. I'm on seven now. And as I start a new row, I will pick up one of those bands. Um, so that way I don't have to keep track, you know, writing out paper or in my head or anything. It's much easier to lay out those bands and just pick them up as I go. go single all the way around also you can kind of see I have like a little cut on my finger there I didn't realize you could see that on camera um anyway all the way around gosh I keep I don't have very good control of my hook today. Oh, not those bands. These over here. Almost picked up my counting bands. My goodness. Oh my god, I just made it worse. Okay. There we go. This is the last stitch of this row. 
move up the stitch marker. And as I said, that was row 17, so the rest of rows 18 through 22 are all single crochets. So as I do row 18, I'm going to pick up this band, do the row, and then for row 19, I'm going to pick up this one, do the row, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of those. We're now on to the 23rd row, and this is going to be single crochet decrease all the way around. We're going to end on, you know, I'm looking at my paper here, 12 stitches. So, single and decrease, single, decrease, all the way around. And here's our last decrease for this row here. There we go, just like that. And then we're going to do decreases all the way around for row, what row is this? Row 24. So move that stitch marker all the way and decrease. All the way around, ending us on six stitches. Decrease. There we go. And our last decrease here. And now we are going to move up our stitch marker and stuff this. So, I'm going to grab some of my polyfill here and get them out and roll around my hands. There we go. Now, I want to open this up. Oh my gosh, it just came undone. <gasps> okay, it's fine. I can fix it. Don't worry. I am I put it on the wrong band. That's why. Okay. Gosh, that scared me for a second. I thought the whole entire thing was about to come undone. Alright. <laughs> Pull it apart carefully this time. And... That maybe was a bit too much. Oh, I moved the camera. Sorry. Maybe it was a little bit much. So I'm going to pull some of that out. Stuff that back in. There we go. Just like that. Maybe we could use a little bit more. Just a little tiny bit. In there. There we go. And now for this last row, we're going to be doing decreases. But I'm going to do these decreases a little bit differently than a normal decrease. I'm not exactly sure what these are called. I don't know if it's a thing or not. I just do it this way so that um, it doesn't leave big gaps like this because this is going to be the face and I don't really want there to be big holes in the front so what I'm gonna do for these decreases is you can see that this is the stitch that our last that our, we ended the row on 
And instead of going into this first stitch to make a decrease, I'm going to go into the this last one from the last row, grab that front stitch, grab the back of the next one, and stitch right there. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go into the front row of the stitch that we just made, back of the next one. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Until we get to the very end here. And I think for this last one, I'm actually just going to do a normal decrease like that. And then this is the last stitch. I'm going to do a slip knot. So I'm going to bring this band through everything like so, and then slip knot it just like that. And now we can take this stitch marker off and you're left with this little bit here, but we can go up through the side, put your hook into the side there, go up through here, and then bring this down and tuck it like that in order to get rid of that little um, the little band that was sticking out. So, there's our body and our head. And now what we're going to do is start the legs. So just as I did for the body, I'm also going to be alternating colors. So I'm going to start off the legs by making, making, what? <laughs> making a magic ring of six so there's my triple cat band for the beginning and then I'm gonna make six stitches in here and what I'm going to do with the alternating colors is I'm going to switch colors every two rows and at the beginning of those rows I'm going to be doing a color change and I'll show you what that is when we get to that point so that's three stitches, go in there, three, four, five, and six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, just double checking. I'm going to put on my stitch marker, and that is row one. For row two, it's gonna be single crochets. This all the entirety of the legs, they're all single crochets. Except for two rows where we make a few decreases and increase. But this is gonna be single crochet all the way around. Okay, maybe I did that weird. Hang on. Let me fix that. There we go. So for this whole leg, you should always have six stitches, always. Alright. There's row two. Just like that. Now, for row three, this is where we're going to start the color change. And a color change is pretty much exactly like doing a slip knot, like we just did with the head. So, I'm just gonna grab some bands here. And this is row three, as I said. So, we're gonna go into this first stitch. And instead of making a stitch like normal, I'm going to pull this band through everything on our hook and stitch. Just like that. And then I'm going to just stitch like normal for the rest. There we go. And that is row three. Going to move this up. 
And then row four, again, single crochet all the way around. I'm just going to do the entirety of this leg with you so that you can see everything very well. Just because it's, it's just a bunch of single crochets, it's very easy. So there's really no need for me to go off camera and do these. It does start to hurt my hand after a while though, I will say. So, um, then we're going to move this up. Now we're going to start row five. So I'm going to pick up some bands really quickly. Um, there we go. All right. I'm going to put this back on my hook. And, oh, hang on, i got to do a color change here. So bring that all the way through. Color change. Just like that. And the legs, we're not going to stuff them just because they're so small. They don't really need to be stuffed at all. It's kind of unnecessary. So you don't have to worry about it. Any more stuffing? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that was actually row six, so there we go for that row. Now we're going to do row seven and eight. And these rows are exactly the same um, but they are different than the other rows and um, we're gonna do some dec a decrease and a increase in each of these rows so like I said this is row seven that I'm about to do and I'm going to put my hook in there then I'm going to go into this first stitch here. It's polyfill stuck in the bands. Okay, and I'm going to bring this band all the way through to color change. And then these next two stitches, stitch two and three, are going to be a decrease. Stitch four is no, just a single crochet. And stitch five is an increase. Just like that. And the last stitch is just a normal single crochet. And this creates a bend in the leg. Um, I was going to say knees, but I don't think spiders have knees. So <laughs> um, it creates this right here. That's what it is. <laughs> but we're going to do the same thing for row eight. So single crochet decrease single crochet increase it does get kind of hard to maneuver in these last few rows here and then this is just a normal single crochet just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to do row nine and ten, which I'm going to be alternating colors, so I'm picking up some of my pink bands. There we go. And I'm going to go in here. This is a color change. So there's one. Try not to go into that band. Two. Three. 
for five and this is six. It's row nine. And then row ten. Four, five, and six, just like that. Move this up, and now we're going to do row t uh, 11 and 12. And this is going to be um, the last segment of our leg. Our first leg. After this, you're gonna have to make seven more because altogether there's eight legs on a spider. So I'm gonna move those up, grab those, and do our last two rows here. One, try to make sure I'm in the middle of the frame. Two, three. Four, five. I just realized I didn't do a color change of the first. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to have to undo that very quickly and fix that. Um, it's a very simple fix. I just undo these and take that first band off. And then fix it just like that. I was talking and I got sidetracked. There we go. Very easy though. If you did that, it's okay. Just go back and undo it. And there we go. Okay, last row. Single. Single. It's two, three, four. Five and six. And we're going to take our stitch marker off. And what we're going to do, I'm going to grab some more bands. But what we're going to do here is make a sort of, oh, make a tab at the end so that we can attach all of our legs together much easier. You can kind of see in here, that's the tab there. So, we have our stitch still in our hook. What we're going to do is we're going to go directly across here and go into this stitch. Still in the last row. And we are going to bring this band through everything here. Just like that. And then stitch. And then we're going to turn and go in there. And then bring that out and stitch and then we're going to go in somewhere about right here back into that first stitch that we made and we're going to make a slip knot so we're going to bring that through everything and slip knot just like that and that creates this sort of tab that will make it easier to attach all of our legs so there's our first leg kind of looks like a gummy worm actually but you're gonna do seven more of those and then we're going to do this little mustache here and we're going to attach the eyes and then we'll be done so I'll be right back I have now finished all of my legs I already attached four of them and now I'm going to attach these four with you so that you can um, know how to do it obviously so I'm gonna pick up a couple bands here on my finger and we're going to be sewing this onto the body and together as well so we kind of want to work where these bends are in the legs and put them together like this 
And these little tabs that we created, we're going to go through those and stitch in there. I also, there, when you make the slip knots, you'll have a little band sticking out. I just tucked those in. So I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to pull this back out and stitch. And you can see that some of the, the ends are starting to come loose. If that happens, just put it on your hook and make it a part of your stitch. So I'm going to go into this next one here, bring that through. And stitch. You cut it. This your legs might not come out looking exactly the way mine do. It kind of just depends on where you go in on your legs. This is just how I'm doing the attaching. And then go in about here, through there, and then I'm going to turn the legs around. And work on stitching this side together so I'm just going into two legs at a time with this so that I'm not stretching my bands all the way across so then I'm gonna go into this one and grab that bring that back through and stitch and then bring this through and stitch and then we're gonna turn them back around now we have our legs are all attached together and now we're gonna find a place on the body to start attaching these so um, I kind of want you can see where I attach these here I think I'm gonna put them about right there and I'm just gonna kind of line it up with the head here and we go in here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing well. Go in here and stitch. And then I'm going to start going into the legs and the body. Sorry, I moved the camera. Sorry. And the body of the spider and making stitches that way. Um, this part is pretty pretty experimental just like I said kind of depends on your spider and where you are putting your legs at um, go in about there sorry I keep hitting the camera I'm so sorry um, I'm trying to make sure that this spider is well in frame so that you can kind of see what I'm doing if I zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to go in here and about hmm, right there. And oh, lost my bands. Where was that at? Um, right here, I think. I lost my band again. I'm gonna have to start over. I really lost it. I'm not sure where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go in here. Go in here. Try my best to get this through everything. There we go. And then I am going to grab I'm gonna grab a couple more bands over here. I'm gonna go in here and then slip knot this and that's going to make sure that everything stays on. I'm gonna go in here and tuck this in. Like that. And then the, you might have a little gap like this. Um, all you do is you go in where you feel like you need to and attach the legs in a way that you like. Um, these legs are, I will say, kind of frustrating to work with. I might 
try and figure out a better way to do this, but um, I'll just have to see what I can do. Uh, maybe I'll try a different um, sort of design with that. But I'll just have to experiment and see. So I'm going to go in here, tuck that band in, and there are my legs all done. I'm now going to show you how to make the mustache. Um, this little mustache here, as spiders have. I don't think it's actually called a mustache, but that's what they look like, so that's what I'm going to call it. I have one end of, or one end of my mustache already done. I'm going to show you how to make these. It's very, very simple, very quick and easy. So I'm going to grab some bands on my finger here. And we're going to start off doing a magic ring of four, because our mustache does not need to be very big or else it will overpower the face of our spider and we don't want that. Um, I did, when I first started designing the pattern, I ended up making the mustache absolutely huge. It was way too big. I didn't like the way it looked, so this is what we're doing instead. I'm going to zoom back in so you can see. Alright, so here's our in focus magic ring of four and I'm not going to use a stitch marker for this if you want to you can I'm just going to count four bands we're going to do one row of single crochet so I'm going to go in here one two three oh, three and four Four. and then we're going to be doing decreases and this is a really small area to work in so you just have to kind of dig them out but we're going to grab this band of the front and this band on the back and then make a decrease and then same here front and back and make a decrease, and this is going to be, oh, I didn't grab the correct band. This is going to be a slip knot here. So, we're going to grab too many bands again. <laughs> um, like I said, small area. Kind of have to push things apart a bit. So... Front and back. There we go. And then slip knot that. And then we're going to go up through where our magic ring was and go up through the middle and tuck that in as best as we can. And then we can kind of shape this. Let's see. The way that we want it. And there's the other half of our mustache. And we are now going to attach these two pieces as well as attach it to the head. So we're going to do that by going. In, okay, so let me let me try to explain this clearly. You have our magic ring here. We're going to go in through the side and go through the center of the magic ring and then through the center of the other one and out the side like this. And then we're going to bring a band through all of that. And we're not going to slip knot it just yet because we are going to have to attach this to the head. So I'm going to put these two bands on my finger like so. And then I'm gonna kind of measure about where I want this to be. So, let me see. Um, I'm thinking right about here. And I'm gonna grab this front band and pull it through and then 
with the mustache like that grab the other end and slip knot just like that and our mustache is attached very very simple and easy much easier than the legs I will say now for the eyes um, let me zoom back out okay for these eyes um, I didn't want to put the eyes in while I was making the head because it would have been kind of difficult to do that because um, it's kind of hard to exactly you know place these so I I'm doing it after the fact which you know maybe isn't the greatest idea on my end but it's fine <laughs> Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of measure out where I want everything to be. And later on, you know, after the video, I'm going to take these back out and add the caps on and then shove them back in. <laughs> just because that's the way I've decided to do it. But I'm going to put all these in about where I want them. And these are eight eyes because, you know, spiders have eight eyes. And I think that's going to go about there. And then I'm I'm doing four on each side. I'm gonna kind of use my other one as a as a guide here. I'm gonna put one there and there and right about there. And if you want your mustache to stay on better, you can add more bands and attach it. But this is just the way you know, this is the way I've done it for now. And try to keep it even with the other side put this there and this one here and there is our spider all done it's looking amazing let me move the light because i accidentally moved it when i was not recording i just realized but it's okay so here's our spider if you have oh okay knocked a <laughs> knocked an eyeball out it's fine um, if you have any sort of gaps like this, all you do is take that color and then run your hook. Here, I'll show you very quickly. I just don't have a band out right now. You just kind of run your hook through, put a band on, bring it through, and make a slip knot there. And it'll sort of clasp those two sides together. But for now, my spider is going to have a hole in its head. It's fine. So, there are... My spider's all done. They are looking super cute. This one's eyes are a little far apart, I just realized, but it's okay. Um, and that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It was easy to follow, and I will see you in the next video.